Hey everybody, hope you're having a great day. Today, we have a very exciting topic about scheduled functions, also known as cron jobs. So what is a scheduled function? A scheduled function allows you to run a function in the background automatically at a specific time. So for example, you don't need the user to interact with your app to allow this function to run. An use case of this is, for example, you might be checking on a daily basis and deleting events that has happened in the past or possibly every month you want to increment all the subscribed users coins in a game or number of requests they can send in a dating app. This is very powerful because this allows you to run a set of functions to update your database in the background without any reliance on the front end of your Flutterflow app. This is only achievable through cloud functions and I'll show you how you can achieve this. The use case we will be building out today is basically we very simple. We have a list of users and they are either subscribed or not subscribed. So these two demo account you can see he is subscribed and is subscribed is false. And what I want to build out is have a cron job that runs and increments the number of game coins for users that are is subscribed to the platform. So only search for is subscribed because it's true and increment the number of coins in the game by 10 every time. I'll schedule this function to run every minute so you can see what's going on. But in the real world, you might run it every week or at the start of each month or one month from the moment they subscribe to based on their subscription day. Ultimately, it's up to your use case, but the sole lesson of this tutorial is helping you set up the scheduled function, also called as cron jobs. So let's quickly get started. I've already written a set of code um, to run this cron job every minute. I'll walk you through this set of code so you know what's going on. So basically we are using um, V1 of the scheduled functions. Of course you can use V2, um, but I, I feel like V1 is easier to set up because there's less dependencies. It's just simply one, you know, one set of code which you can deploy directly from Flutterflow. So this function is called my schedule cloud function. And what it does is that it uses the schedule feature built into um, Google console. And this is basically the regularity of it to run. We'll talk more a bit about changing it to different schedules later. Um, but this basically five, um, I think it's called stars, means every minute. And the time zone I'm in is Australia, Sydney. So change it to your time zone could be America, New York, if you want to run on the first of every month, that's more important, especially related to time zone. But because we're running every minute, it doesn't really matter what time zone you're in. And then when it runs, it console logs to show you that it's running. And what it's doing is basically querying the Firebase collection of users where is subscribed equals to true. And I'm just simply logging if it's not if there's no users, that's true. I'm just going to log no matching documents. But if there are users that are is subscribed because they're true, we're simply going to batch update the number of game coins by 10 every minute. And then once done, just log it that you know game coins are up updated and a few logging problems. And then at the end, we're going to log the cron job is finished. So very basic kind of good starting point in helping you understand a very basic um, cloud function. You can do a lot more with it. The core code, or I suppose the core boilerplate code in creating a cron job is this component. If I had to delete everything and give you a set of code, this will basically be it. And you can take this away and then write your own cron job. Anyway, I'm gonna save this and then deploy this to Google Cloud. Okay, now that it's deployed, we can see here in Firebase functions, it has been deployed for every minute. Um, and then also if you check the uh, Google console, you can also see here my schedule cloud function is also deployed. So if you click in, 
you can see all the code that you've written up here, which is exactly the same as Flutterflow. Um, and then let's go to log so we know when the function runs. So it actually started running because it deployed maybe a minute ago and it just started running. Um, once it started running, let's go check our Firebase backend. And we can see here this demo at demo is subscribed as false and no coins have been given. But you can see he just updated that demo two is true and two minutes has passed already since the first deployment. And we can see here the game coins has incremented 20. And now if you if we want to wait a minute, um, this will go to 30. Um, so if you bear with me here. A few moments later. Cool. So you just saw here the game coins went from 20 to 30 because a minute passed. Okay, now that we know the function is working, we're going to go back to Flutterflow and then we're going to talk a bit about this uh, regularity of the schedules. So you can see here, this, is, this basically denotes every minute. And what happens if you want to run it at the start of every month on the midnight based in Sydney, Australia time? There are multiple ways you can find out how, what is the right um, schedule notation. But the quickest way and the most easiest way is probably just ask ChatGPT. So if I bring up ChatGPT, I can ask, what is the cron notation to run a cron job at the start of every month? And then you can see here it's 00100 zero, 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 zero. and we can validate this as well um, you can see here 00500 zero, 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 zero is fifth day of every month at midnight so that's what pasting what chat gpt said 00100 zero, 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 zero is on the first day of every month maybe on instead of you know first day of every month at midnight we ask for um maybe instead of midnight let's do 2 p.m and then this is basically the cron notation. Exactly right, validating it, zero, 14. 14 is the hour um, and the first step. So basically it, it's just minutes, 14 is the hour, day of the month, and star star, which is you know week, um, which is irrelevant, right, to what we need. This is basically how you can create a scheduled cloud function I hope this lesson taught you a very powerful functionality in using Cloud Functions to have backend scheduled jobs with zero interaction from the front end, allowing you to update and do a lot of things in the back end um, without any interaction by the user from the front end. If you like this lesson, always remember to comment, like, and subscribe for more content on Flutterflow.